Hello folks and welcome to the channel or welcome back and this video is a bit of an update on the job we've done about two and a half to three years ago when I picked up a MF35 and some of you might remember what this was all about. About three years ago I found this MF35 on the scrapyard basically and it had a lot of frost damage because the previous owner didn't bother putting cooling liquid in to protect it against frost. Now, the consequences of that was that the water pump was gone, it was totally cracked, but also the cylinder head was cracked and the anti-frost plates were popped out of the engine block. Now I know we do call them anti-frost plates, but in essence they are not anti-frost plates, they are really results of the casting of the engine block. So I decided to um, fix this engine in a bit of a special way. Uh, I got this tractor very cheap, so I've got the reconditioned the radiator, I've got a new water pump, new hoses, and I also decided to fix the cylinder head. Although I was looking for a replacement cylinder head, but they are very hard to find those four cylinders. So I ended up with fixing the cylinder head. Now normally I would weld this up, but in this case, I decided to try something different, to do a little experiment. And I know there were a lot of people saying, this is never gonna work, Steve, this is bad idea. I know, normally you wouldn't fix a cylinder head like this. So in the cylinder head, I had multiple channels, uh, water channels that were cracked. So I kind of grinded them out and, and, and I drilled them out and actually I filled them up with cold metal. Cold metal in this case from Loctite. I sanded it down and I put it all back together. And after three years, believe it or not, this is still holding. So this was really an experiment and it shows that you can actually do that. And it is not that this tractor has been sitting still in the barn somewhere without being used. No, it has been put to use and you'll see it in a few minutes. And I've used it for three seasons. And it's not that it's a light attachment to it. This is a Coroni. It's about one meter 80 wide um, lawnmower. And it has three blades and it has a normal PTO drive on it. So it's pretty heavy. And if the grass is tall and wet, it takes a lot of power from this little tractor. And this tractor is only 35 horsepower. And it works. And I'm going to show you that in a few seconds and you'll see that it still runs like a champ. To cut the grass, I actually have uh, removed the original wheels from the tractor and I placed wheels from a truck on it and I had to weld in a panel in the middle to adapt that rim actually to the axle of the tractor. But these wheels are pretty good. They actually come from an MAN truck um, and they last forever actually. So. Um, I would say let's start it up and let you listen to the sound of this old engine after three years. And honestly, it doesn't leak. It, it, it's just working fine. You'll see the temperature on the temperature gauge. It stays nicely at 75, 80 degrees centigrade. And the oil pressure is good as well on this engine. So after all the changes we've done on this tractor, this is still working fine. So let's see if we can get this guy started. <laughs> So let's put it outside and give it a try. As you could see, uh, Fergie is uh, still able to cut the grass after three years. So the liquid metal or the cold metal 
is holding up pretty well. I haven't had any issues with it. And I have to say, the grass uh, often is quite tall and, and now it was really wet because we had a lot of rain. In fact, I had to stop in between because that's how it was pouring down like crazy in a small thunderstorm. So um, for those of you that always said it's not gonna work, well, the experiment uh, has worked. It is working just fine. And let me show you the patch, one of the patches uh, on one of the cooling chambers in the cylinder head on the side, uh, how it looks like, because I never painted it. And uh, you can see how it looks like after about three years. And this is a major patch I did at the time. That's where the cooling chamber inside the cylinder head was actually cracked on the outside. And uh, you can see it's, it's just holding up just fine. I can't show you the other fixed areas because that's actually inside the cylinder head. So folks, this is it for this video. Um, this was just an update on the Massey Ferguson because some people didn't believe that this was still working. So now you've seen it, that it's still working. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And in the next video, we're going to continue to work on the Lotus Elise. And finally, I have some time for Old Rusty. So I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye bye.